What's up guys? Uh, got done testing the Buck Vantage Select and uh, figured I would just go ahead and sharpen it up again because there's no sense in having a dull knife. And uh, for some reason people love to watch other people sharpen knives, especially with these Japanese water stones. So uh, I figured I would just record it. I mean, I just did a sharpening video, but people always ask for more. So I figured I would uh, do another one. And uh, I'm going to try and make this kind of like a speedy Japanese water stone sharpening. Try and see just how fast it can be done. Uh, the edge is pretty far gone right now. I always forget to do this, so I'm glad I remembered. Uh, oh, never mind. I touched it up at the end of that video, but it still has some rolls and uh, nicks in it. And uh, plus, when I touched it up, I laid kind of a micro bevel on it, and I don't really like micro bevels on my knives. So I'm going to take that away, uh, grind down into some fresh metal. So there's the edge right now. It is uh, marked with black magic marker. So. Uh, Gonna go ahead and start. I forgot I touched the knife up. But oh well. It's not nearly as sharp as it can be, so it can still stand some sharpening. Gonna go ahead and start. I uh, need to find my angle. That was a, just a little shallow. A little shallow again. That's about perfect. Uh, People ask me how do I remove the, the Sharpie uh, if I don't get the whole bevel. Like if if for some reason you, you're sharpening, you mark the edge and you just can't get, get it to uh, uh, go away. In that case you just use some uh, rubbing alcohol and uh, it takes it right off pretty much instantly. So And it doesn't harm your blade. All I'm trying to do is form a burr. As you can see, the whole, I'm gonna go ahead and show this. All of the Sharpie is gone now. That's what you wanna see. It needs to look like this. You can see the edge, that's 600 grit edge. It needs to look like that. Uh, I'm not sure I have a burr yet. Yeah, I think I do. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch to the other side. Too shallow. There we go. Doesn't take long on these stones, man. I swear they cut so fast. That's where that extreme quality comes into play. Uh, don't do that. That's the worst thing you can do. Really easy to break your tip off when you do that. Oh. Uh, one reason I'm making so many sharpening videos is just because I formed a burr, so I'm ready to move on. Mainly because people are really interested in sharpening, and uh, the the way that I learned, honestly, was through watching YouTube videos, and uh, there's just something about sharpening, it's entertaining to watch, uh, I get that, because I definitely was very, very into watching sharpening videos. Hell, I still am. I still love watching sharpening videos. So, I get that people want to see uh, see some stones in use. It is very entertaining. I hope mine are, are as entertaining as other people's sharpening videos. Because there's some good ones out there. There we go, good angle. These stones, man, Waco was telling me just how good they were. And uh, I knew they were good stones, but I just had no clue. Damn, I keep doing that. I had no clue that they were so radically different than uh, the king stones that we have commonly here in the states i mean they're just so different there's not even 
not even an easy way to compare them. They're just so radically different. All right, let me check my time, 14 minutes. Formed a burr. Yes, definitely have a burr ready to move on. What I'm doing right here is uh, just kind of a little experiment. I want to see see what this 1,000 grit edge is like on this Japanese water stone. Always wanted to do this. Well, since I got them. Damn, that edge is. Uh, uh, I left some of a burr on there. Didn't clean it off. The edge is kind of toothy. I like that. It glides through the paper really well, but you can tell it has some tooth to it. I really like that. If I clean that burr off, just this 1000 grit edge would be extremely sharp. Matter of fact, I want to do it just to... Just for demonstration. Should have cleaned the burr off with that, so. Oh yeah. Man, I like that. That 1000 grit edge, I could leave it. Leave it there, I didn't clean it off all the way, actually. You get the picture. I like that toothiness. I may leave some of my knives at this grip. I have a burr right at the belly. Right there. Alright, done with the 1000 grit. Uh, moving on to Chosera 3000 grit. Just marking the edge with the marker. Check my time, check my focus. Good on both. Ready to go some more. I like that 1000 grit edge a lot. Uh, I could just clean the burr off with a little bit of uh, light work on it and it would leave a really nice toothy edge. I may do that for some of my more uh, utilitarian knives like the Strider. I also like the look of that 1000 grit uh, stone. It leaves some really nice ground lines. I'm going against my own uh, advice right here. As you can tell, I'm not rocking my body at all. This is mainly shoulders right here. Uh, if I didn't have the camera right here, I would have the stone in a much more comfortable position and I would be using my body. But uh, for the sake of recording this, I have to be in a very uncomfortable position. So that's why I'm not heeding my own advice. Gonna go ahead and test the edge on this 3000 grit. See what we have here. As to be expected. A very, very, very sharp edge. I think what I'm catching on is uh, a roll that happened during the test that I didn't remove with the 6000 grit stone. So uh, I didn't take it down to a really coarse grit. I didn't, 
I didn't form a huge burr. So I think what's happened is uh, I have a roll remaining and uh, that's, that's what's catching on the paper. Which it would be easy to remove, but uh, I'm just going to let that come out in the next sharpening. There's no sense in removing that much material just for one little nick. So, as you can see, it's lightning sharp at this 3000 grit. You can hear my dogs barking. They hate the neighbor's kids for some reason. Well, I know exactly why they hate them. But. The neighbor's kids is, <laughs> are really annoying. So I'm going to change it up here. I'm going to move to the, uh, the Spiderco Ultra Fine Stone right here to throw the last little bit of sharpness on this edge and uh, give it a good polish. I put it on this cutting board uh, so that the leather didn't get wet from the stone. I'm just going to go ahead and start polishing. I'm not sure of the grit of this stone. But uh, just based on the edges that it leaves, I would say it's it's somewhere near eight to ten thousand grit, because it just really, really, really polishes the edge up. Uh, I would say I can get a better polish with a stone uh, than I can using the six thousand grit tape on the edge pro. So. It definitely, definitely is capable of a good polish. Just doing some finishing strokes. I'm not going to strop in this video just because it's not necessary. Uh, I'm not looking for maximum sharpness. I was looking for a uh, quick, quick and dirty sharpening. But I did want to put a uh, a mirror polish on here just to demonstrate that for you guys. So, gonna test sharpness again. There is that that next level that I like. This stone right here just. Uh, gives it something that no other stone can. I mean, it's as you can see, it just falls through, falls through. On my last test, I tried to cut uh, toilet paper, tried to slice it, and I I didn't quite have that level of an edge yet. I think I may try it. That one last little nick that's left in there may stop me from doing it though. So, just want to show the edge to you guys. That's what that uh, stone is capable of. That's a beautiful, beautiful polished edge. That ultra fine stone is just, uh, it's probably the best stone I have for actually polishing an edge. I mean, as you can see, it's just completely mirrored to the max. Much, I wouldn't say much better, but it is a little bit clearer than what I can achieve with the Edge Pro. So, that's pretty amazing. Uh, I'm going to take a few seconds off camera. I'm going to run and go get a piece of toilet paper. I'm going to strop the edge for just a second. I haven't left you. Hang on. I didn't anticipate stropping on this video. I'm not sure this edge will do this since I didn't really concentrate, but oh yeah. 
Yeah, it's definitely uh, TP slicing sharp. That one, one roll is still giving me trouble. Or it's actually got to be a chip since it didn't come out. But I mean the edge is, for a quick and dirty sharpening, it's definitely definitely extremely sharp so there you go guys there's more sharpening material for you uh, I think next time I'll show you what it takes to, to take an edge down and uh, really take it to a coarse grit and uh, bring it back up to a mirror but I just wanted to do a quick and dirty sharpening on this and uh, I'll wait until the next sharpening to take that chip out there's no sense in removing that much material uh, when 99.99% .99 of the edge is sharp, there, there's no sense in wasting that steel just to get that last 0.01% of the edge. So, there you go guys. Uh, if you want to see me do anything else, use a different stone or just more sharpening stuff, then let me know. And uh, I'll try and do it. So, now I have some crap to clean up. Uh, <laughs> like always. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys, uh, and I'll see you next time.